Hey y'all and welcome back to the Pendry home or welcome if you are new here. My name is Lakin and in today's video I am going to be sharing my thrift slash antique slash vintage finds that I have found here recently. So I have been out for two days now. Um, I went yesterday and actually today I just got back in and I was like well I feel like I have a lot of stuff to share at this moment in time. I may end up going back out and getting, going antiquing again. It's one of my favorite things to do. Um, I love finding very unique pieces and um, it's very just more special in a sense rather than having, you know, going to all these Hobby Lobby trips and everything. A lot of people have the same decor and the same finds, but when you go antiquing, you get different finds and things and a lot of things that people don't have, yet you can find similar things to what people have. Um, and I get questions all the time over on my Instagram, like where's your furniture from? Like my dressers and stuff. And those were all finds, like antique finds. So my husband has, um, they grew up in an old farmhouse um, where he's from on a farm. And the old farmhouse was his great grandparents and then grandparents and then theirs. Pretty much, they all like lived there um, at separate times. And then my in-laws built their house behind the old farmhouse. But there is a lot, a lot of stuff in that farmhouse still, like furniture and stuff. So my coffee bar uh, came from that house and then this rocker came from that house. Um, my trash can and my onion and tater box came from that house. The box that I use for my blanket storage came from that house. There, I have a ton of pieces in here. My old country calendar came from that house. So I have a lot of stuff. The bench that I redid that's here in my dining room, that also came from that old house. Um, so a bunch, a bunch of things came from there, um, furniture wise, and I love going to thrift stores and antique stores. My hutch cabinet came from a antique shop. Um, Y'all have seen pieces that I have redone from thrift stores, like my corbels and then just pictures. I have a picture here that I'm looking at um, that I spray painted in copper paint that came from Goodwill and then I also have another picture that is on my dining room table that also came from Goodwill. So um, y'all know if you've been watching me I like to find very unique pieces and that's what I have went out and done in the last two days. Um, I may have some more to show you guys next week just depending me and my friend's gonna go antiquing sometime um, and we will see what we can find. Um, but I want to share what I have right now. You can see some stuff around me here. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm going to share my Goodwill finds. So I know there's a lot of controversy about Goodwill and about the donations and about all the kind of financial stuff about it. Honestly, I'm one of those people that pretty much any business that you support now, unless it's a small business, you're supporting things you probably don't believe in. So, touche to y'all, whatever. Um, Walmart, you know, does things that we don't agree with too, but you still gotta get food and clothes and everything else. So that's kinda how I feel about it. So when I go to Goodwill, I focus on their china and their decoration area. And I found these little silver pots, if they'll focus. Um, these I thought would be beautiful on a coffee bar or even a hutch moment or um, shelves. I'm wanting to add more shelves. Our friend actually is the one who made our shelving in the coffee bar area. Um, and I've been wanting some more shelves. So. Um, I'm gonna see if he'll make me some more. And I got these, I got this one, and then this one looked like it matched this perfectly, like they went together. So this is very, very cute. Um, you could take, I think it's uh, Rough and Buff, um, to shine up these if you wanna keep them like this, or you can clean them up and spray paint them. 
I'm not really sure if I'm gonna spray paint them copper because I love the copper look. I might end up spray painting these copper. And then I also found this one, which I really like this one. And I am really questioning if I want to spray paint this one or not. Um, but I got this one. The detailing on this one is absolutely just beautiful. Look at that gorgeous detailing. And I, I love this one. So um, I'm not sure if I want to spray paint it yet or not. I don't want to lose any detailing if I do spray paint it. But again, I thought this as a shelf moment or a hutch moment just would be absolutely beautiful um, if you have open shelves in your kitchen and you do decor on those that would be gorgeous um, a coffee bar shelves hutch cabinet shelves there is a loud truck going by y'all or like even in your dining room if you have shelves those these little things like this are perfect you can stack them on plates if you just have like some white ceramic plates um, there's endless amounts of things that you can do with stuff like that and I love always trying to find stuff like that. You can always do beautiful, beautiful things with those. So then um, some more Goodwill finds is these topiaries that I found and I got two of these and I had thought about maybe repainting the bottom of these or doing something different with them. Um, I'm not really sure yet, but I love these. The they're, They are kind of like shedding and you can see some styrofoam on one of them, but also if I wanted to, I could replace all of the greenery on these. But I'm thinking about either putting these outside on the front little porch area or doing something else with them. I'm not really sure. I think they would be beautiful on the front porch. But these were only $10 a piece. And if you've ever looked at finding or trying to buy topiary pieces, especially this size, y'all can see how tall this is. Um, it's huge, a very heavy and sturdy piece. These would probably run you $70 a piece. And I got them for 10. I have always wanted some of these really for outside. Um, I think they're also really beautiful with twinkle lights on them, little fairy lights um, at nighttime. So I might end up wrapping some little twinkle lights maybe on them. Um, but I thought they were too beautiful and good of a find to pass up. Um, so again, these were from Goodwill. And like I said, they do shed really bad. So I I don't know how long they would last outside, but you can definitely redo the greenery on these because like I said, it is a styrofoam kind of ball thing in those. So I got two of those and I'm super excited about them and decorate with them. If I don't put them outside, I'm sure I will find something beautiful to do with them inside. Um, but I have them sitting in my next find which is this really pretty wicker basket. I love wood elements in my house. I love bringing in wood elements. And this is a gorgeous piece um, with blankets flowing out of it or pillows or something. Um, I just couldn't pass this one up. And a good place to buy baskets is Goodwill or your thrift stores. They're usually very cheap. And you can find a very big and large item. Um, so I really love this one. I loved the shape of it and just the woven details of it. I thought it was very, very beautiful. Um, and I'm really excited to use this. And then that is all that I found from Goodwill in the last two days. Um, so I think I did pretty well. All right, so that leads me into my next finds, and um, my next finds are from the antique vintage stores here in my town that I live in. Um, so around here, our antique shops also have newer stuff in them. Um, you can buy it. They also kind of are like antique slash boutique um, shops. And the stuff that I found is actually newer stuff. It's not antiques. It's, it's new, brand new stuff. Um, so I, I want to share those. There was some antiques that I did want to buy. 
um, which like I said, I may go back and buy this weekend or something um, when I go back out sometime. But these were things that I fell in love with. So the first one here is some florals and these were just calling my name. Look how beautiful these are. So I'm gonna take one out to show you guys what these will look like. Are those just not beautiful? So they don't have tags on them or anything, so I can't really tell you anything about them other than they just are gorgeous. I mean, these were just so like dainty, cottage, just they spoke to me. So I picked up three of these. They had a deal where if you bought three, you got pretty much the best deal on them because one stem just would not have been enough. So I got three and the lady in there, I had never been in there before until today and the lady in there was so sweet. So yes, I picked up those in that little shop particular and I just, I couldn't pass those up. They're, they're absolutely beautiful and she wrapped them up so sweetly and everything. And then in another antique store that I went to that also, it's kind of like an antique boutique type thing. They sell clothing and stuff in this one. I found these pillows and I have been on the search for new pillows for my sofa and I'm, I'm very particular about what I want because pillows are very expensive. Um, if you have ever bought any couch pillows or bed pillows or whatever, pillows are expensive. Why they're expensive, I do not know, but I have been wanting a very, very nice pair for a while now and I've been on the hunt and when I saw these, I was just like, I had to have them because these will be so beautiful. So I got two, they only had two, so I got both of them and I just loved the muted colors because it's a cream off white and then this grayish um, beige color just this is just my house in a nutshell. So I got these two pillows and that is all that I got today and yesterday with my fine. did give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below if you are new here and want to join the Pendry home family I would love for you to join and to stick around for some exciting things coming soon um, and also if you have any prayer requests you can always leave those down below I would love to pray for you um, in any way that I can be a help to you guys I would love to be a help to y'all um, but I hope you all have a wonderful day and we'll join you back next time bye y'all <laughs>